What's going on guys? It's your boy King Joffy Joe, 413, back with another one. Alright, what's going on guys? How you guys doing? Chilling? Me? You already know, chilling like always. So, today, I'm just trying to show you a new product that we uh, figured out how to add on to the bike. Um, it's really not more of an install, it's just like giving you guys aware of this product. Uh, we've seen another YouTube, my man Shadow Black had it on his bike, so, you know what I'm saying? He ain't show us how to do it, so I had to grab one myself and try to figure it out myself. So, what I'm talking about today here is, is uh, the brake light. The brake light here uh, at the back, I know some of you guys saw Shadow Black when he was showing his under seat lights. He had a little uh, tail light here. You know your boy King Joffy Joe had to figure out how he did that. You know what I'm saying? So what we did is we, we copped the light on Amazon. I think we paid like 10 bucks for this light. Uh, it's uh, This light comes with a, a running light. Has the running light in it. It actually has the brake light. And it has blinkers. So, quick little accessory you can add on your bike for 10 bucks, you know what I'm saying? It takes about, it took us about uh, 20 minutes to put this on there. Um, I didn't record it install because, you know, you know GoPro, it says you're recording, but you're not recording. So, you know what I'm saying? I had a little hiccup on that, but uh, I got it installed. This light comes with five wires. So, it comes with a ground wire, it comes with a, a running light wire, comes with a brake light wire, and then it comes with two blinkers. So, that's your five wires. Um, what I did was, I took, uh, what I did was, the pro the first problem I had when I got this bracket with this light was figuring out how to mount it. You know what I'm saying? Shadow Black, you know what I'm saying? He ain't show us how he mounted his light. So I'm like, dang, how he do it? How he do it? So what I did was, I went to Home Depot and I grabbed these little brackets, little corner brackets, little 90 degree L brackets here. See that right there? Little 90 degree. And what I did was, you can, uh, if you're putting this on your max, on the back of your little wing from your uh, max mount, you can screw these into the top of there if you wanna like have, the screw's gonna pop out through there. So that's the reason I didn't do it like that. What I did was I used two-part epoxy. I two-part epoxy these brackets to the bottom of the uh, wing here, the tail wing. Um, I, I uh, two-part epoxy three of these to the, here, the bottom here. So it's only two-part epoxy, so you can probably just snap these off and it'll come right off, not a big deal. Maybe heat them up with a hot gun and take them off if you don't want to keep it on there after a while. Um, the light had two-sided tape, so after they dried up, um, I just took the two-sided tape off the back of the light and stuck it on there. Uh, you, you see these brackets, they have holes on there, so if you wanted to, after you put the light on there, you can put a little bit of two-part epoxy through that hole and it'll hold it on there a little stronger. Um, so what I did was I took the two-part epoxy, I took a piece of cardboard the size of the light, and then I lined the brackets up where I wanted them on the light, and I took the cardboard and made like a little template. So when I put these up to here, when I put the two-part epoxy on there, I had them on a piece of cardboard template, so it lined it up where, the, where I wanted to put the brackets on here, put the two-part epoxy on there, took a couple vice grips, and I gripped them on here to hold the bracket on there while the two-part epoxy dried. About five minutes it took to dry, once that was good, Took the bike scripts off, it was good. As you can see, I chipped up my uh, thing here that I had painted. Planned on repainted anyways, cause you know, 2021, we can't be going for the same thing. We gotta change it up. All right, so after I got it mounted, I had to run the wire. So I had to run five wires up front, which I have five wires. So I had to run individual wires cause I don't have wires where it's five inside one wire. So I ran five individual wires. I uh, used my crimps. <sighs> So I ran five individual wires. I ran my crimps like I always do. I use these crimps to crimp the wires. I uh, heat shrink the wires on top of the crimps. Then I ran it down the side of the bike here. It's actually not 100%, it's not 100% where it needs to be. I'm still running the wires. I didn't run the wires yet here. So I'm gonna run the wires down this side. I'm gonna find a couple spots where I can zip tie them up. I'm gonna run it down here, run it down. I actually ran it from under the seat. And then I ran it down all the way to the front here 
where I had my other wires connected. As you can see, I have a bunch of, a lot of stuff going on here. Cause I have the wires from the lights that's running under the seat. And then I have that light. So I, all right, so your blinkers. All right, so your brake light, you're gonna run. If you're gonna run your brake lights to these wires down on the side of your bike, your brake light is gonna be a white wire. Um, your running light, the factory running light on the bike is a red and orange wire. Obviously your ground is gonna be a black wire. Your brake light, I already said the brake light. Um, your blinkers are a yellow and gray wire and a green and gray wire. So if you're gonna be wiring to anything, anything to these, so like your blinkers, your running lights, um, your brake lights, those are the color wires you're gonna to wanna to mess with when you get down in here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap all these wires up with electrical tape. I'm actually probably gonna cut them, take them off, cut them and shorten them up a little bit because I made them an extra little, extra long. I'm gonna electrical tape them up so they can look nice. I'm gonna run them all down the side of here with this pipe here. Once they're all black, I'm gonna zip them, tie them up here, all the way down, throw my front panel on here. You're not gonna see that again. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty simple because I have the lights ran already for uh, the back light, so it was a little easy for me because I just connected onto that light. So if any of these lights I wanna take off, they were, I just unplug them and all the lights are off. I'm actually gonna be rewiring all my lights so it can look a little better because right now, to me, it looks like shit. So we're gonna fix that. But uh, so guys, soon, next I'm gonna be doing the A-arm lights. So uh, as you can see on the mod, uh, the A-arm lights that go on the mods that have blinkers, um, if you guys are interested in seeing me install those, the full install video from beginning to end, if you wanna see that done, let me know in the comments. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, see, got the hoodie, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know if y'all want hoodies. We can get y'all some hoodies. If y'all want hats, we got hats. You gotta holler at my man, Mr. Stitch It Up, to get you guys some hats. Make sure y'all check out my uh, uh, website, my website, kingjoffeyjoe413.com. Um, got a lot of stuff coming. Make sure you keep, you guys, keep your eyes open for uh, the giveaway. We're gonna be doing the giveaways on New Year's Eve. Got a bunch of giveaways. We got the hat giveaway. We got the fog light giveaway. We got the shifter giveaway. Um, if you guys want one of these lights, we can give y'all one of those too. Let us know, you know what I'm saying? Down in the comments. Giveaway is gonna be on New Year's Eve, 6 p.m. Eastern time, we're gonna go live. Um, boy's gonna be on the podcast, January 2nd, we're rolling on three wheels. Make sure y'all go over to my man, um, Shadow Black's page, rolling on 3D, rolling on three wheels on YouTube. Go to his page, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Make sure y'all check me on uh, the second, you know what I'm saying? Start off the new year right. All right, guys, I guess until the next one, peace.